Hello there, and welcome to another one of these Lexical Lab One Minute English videos. If you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website www.lexicallab.com. As you may be aware, over the last couple of weeks, the news here has been dominated by what's become known as Partygate. Basically, this scandalous news story involves leaked revelations about the fact that Boris Johnson and many of his friends in government were busy partying all the time while we were on lockdown, following the lockdown rules that his government imposed on us. What's made matters even worse is after getting caught um, and after all the uh, news about these parties has been leaked to the media and made their way to us, the general public, Boris Johnson's then gone on TV to lie and lie and lie about what he knew when, where he was, uh, how he didn't realise he was at a party, he thought it was actually a work do, and so on. In other words, basically, he's rubbing it in. He's rubbing our noses in it. If you rub someone's nose in something, or you rub a group of people's noses in something, you remind them of something bad or something unfortunate that happened. So he's both reminding us of the fact that there's one law for them and one law for us, and that while we were following the lockdown rules, him and his cronies were busy partying. He's reminding us of this, but he's also reminding us of the fact that we voted for him. Uh, this is what people elected in the last general election. In the same way, perhaps, if you fail an exam, and if you have a big brother or sister, they might mock you relentlessly. They might laugh at you for failing and draw attention to this. They might constantly rub your nose in it or rub it in. In the same way, if you're having an argument with someone that you're close to and they keep reminding you of something bad that you did in the past, you might respond by saying, listen, I've already said I'm sorry. There's no need to keep rubbing my nose in it. The more perceptive listeners out there might realise that the idea of rubbing someone's nose in something unpleasant comes from the idea of house training dogs who poo all over your house and some people try to deter dogs from doing this by rubbing their noses in the poo. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please do share the video with your friends, your colleagues, your students. Click the like button, the thumbs up sign. It helps other people find out about what we do. And in the comments section below, we'd love to hear examples of people or, or times when people who've rubbed things in or times when you've had to say, you're sorry, there's no need to keep rubbing your nose in it.